All right, folks. Uh, Marlon Grand just lost again here on uh, YouTube and uh, Fish99 on RC Groups. It's going to be doing a project where I'll be glassing the Park Zone Spitfire, very much akin to what my good friend uh, Ian from the UK starts uh, has done with his. And I wanted to make sure that you all get good credit uh, to uh, Ian for the great, wonderful job he did. If you haven't seen his uh, his blog, starts S T A R T A Z Z on uh, RC Groups. Wonderful blog. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here as a uh, prelude to the mod is just showing the weight of the Park Zone Spitfire stock um, wing. As you can probably see here, 102.1 was what it was weighing on the scale. And that is a, an absolute stock wing with no servo and with the control rods in, in place. Okay, quick little update. It's getting off the top of the wing as you can tell. It's not a really difficult job. All you gotta do is just with your uh, hobby knife or, or utility knife, which is what I'm using, I'm just using a very sharp uh, brand new blade utility knife. Just be very careful and uh, score just a corner somewhere. I started in here at the edge of the servo mount where there's a an opening anyway. Just scored it and then just started ripping it off. Comes off in big sheets chunks. So I finished cleaning up the wing here. It was uh, relatively quick, although I will mention to you, you'll see the one Aerolon uh, did disengage from the uh, the main body, so I just cut it nice and clean. Before we add servos to the wing now, you can see we're at 33.6 roughly grams, or about 40 grams less than the the uh, weight before the wing As was As uh, indicated by one of our other fellow uh, RC groupers. Minwax polycrylic. I'm using the satin transparent, but from yeah, Home no, Depot. this is going to be a lot stronger wing, I think, once we put the uh, carbon fiber rod in it and we're able to uh, to go forward okay. from there. So as you're going to see here, what I've done is I've filled the channel that was left when we removed those control rods from the wings with some epoxy with just a tiny bit of micro bubble uh, filler in it. The uh, central servo hole I've just filled in with some foam. I'll cut that flush and sand it a little late, later on. Just put another piece in here again with some micro bubbles because they're easier to sand it when you fill the uh, five minute epoxy with just micro bubbles. Just a little update. I've done some glossing on some of the control surfaces, the aerolons. And I've actually taken the tail horizontal stabilizer and, ru and elevator, separated them from each other, and you'll notice I'm cheating a little bit on the back uh, aft portion of the plane. I'm actually not removing the skin on this little area here. It didn't seem like it was really going to be that necessary. Uh, it seemed like it was actually pretty light already. Uh, this is a small part, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, as you can see, we finished cutting in the uh, carbon fiber rod, taking a 25 inch rod, actually it was slightly longer than 25 inches, uh, but I wanted 25 inches which would will bring me about an inch and a half past where I'll be cutting in the outer Aerolon uh, servos. In order to uh, cut the rod, let's bring this in here, let's see, I'm not sure if it's even visible. What I've done is I've wrapped a bit of electrical tape over the spot where the 25 inch mark was, remeasured it, marked it exactly on the 25 inches, and then carefully, while holding it secure in a vise, without crushing it, uh, cut it with a hacksaw. The tape protects the end of the carbon fiber rod, saves it from splintering or So what I did up. was I had to go down quite low into the wing here, just barely enough to put the rod flush with the surface of the wing in the middle and then quite low in the middle in the in the ends. Actually this rod unbent was uh, actually sticking out uh, probably the width of the rod above or on top of the, uh, the the foam surface. So what I did was put a layer of gl Gorilla Glue underneath in the channel 
insert the rod into the channel leaving a patch in the middle here that was open so that the gorilla d glue didn't come up too much push the rod down with a block of wood compressed with a clamp clamped a large sheet clamp on the end of the bench pressing down on the block of wood over top of the uh, rod compressing the rod down because it's a compression fit it sunk right down in there I let the Gorilla Glue start to set in nice as it was bubbling up just shaving away pieces every half hour or hour shaving away the excess uh, Gorilla Glue uh, put another thin layer of Gorilla Glue across the top once I could remove the clamp without the rod popping back out put a layer of Gorilla Glue on top of the rod again just a very thin layer let all the, the Gorilla Glue expand and set overnight as I was cutting out cut it down a little tiny bit all the way down so that way it was actually still a bit of a channel made up a batch of five minute epoxy filled the channel with five minute epoxy and then leveled the channel just with a running a toothpick around it did a couple little patches where there'd been scars and dings on the uh, on the wing see little bits of yellow and uh, that's the that's how I did the wing then cut the uh, fiberglass sheet placed it down use my poly acrylic or poly C as uh, it's known over in uh, England there and Bob's your uncle it's uh, it's set similarly uh, this is the back side or the second side of the Aralons now so I've overlapped the the fiberglass cloth on the on top of the edge of the other cloth finished the front side of these done the same uh, both the uh, horizontal stabilizer and the elevator finished the, the the front side of those flipped them over after trimming it neatly with a my uh, utility knife flipped it back over placed another piece of of um, fiberglass cloth on and I've just put the first coat of polyacrylic on that and now we're just going to let it sit okay so I've done a little bit more work now I finished doing the poly C and the sanding on the wing and the airlines it's uh, quite smooth I've used uh, 150 and 200 grain sandpaper on the edges uh, where the uh, where the fiberglass sheets come together and while it might not look very pretty right now it will when and then uh, what I've done is on each of the Aralons, I've used uh, CA hinges basically uh, just cut little hinges from uh, from the package Great Plains Ultra Grip CA hinge sheet comes with a couple sheets like this slice it down the middle and then in your hinge sections come out this big uh, as per the instructions that come with it it's not not a hard thing to do at all then you slot if you can see that or not just below the top of the the air line, which is going to sit here so just short of the top surface slice in about half the uh, length not quite half the the length of the hinge once you slice into the hinge all you do is take a little bit of foam safe CA soak both sides of the hinge in your fingers slide, slide that into the, uh, the slice that you placed into your your aileron. I've been using just little little clamps to hold it tight for a few seconds until it sets up and I've used a little bit of activator on the outside just a little kicker to uh, to keep it nice in place while the clamps hold it now you can see where the clamps were there but of course once I paint over that it'll be gone when I put the finishing touches on it so now we have a wing that's ready to be hinged uh, and uh, we'll be doing the same with a horizontal stab stabilizer and uh, elevator.
Okay, so as you can see, I finished hinging the elevator and two airlines. These are just CA hinges. Just, they're a little stiff right now. I'm just going to have to work them in. No problem though. I'm actually very happy with the way these are turning out. As you can see that the uh, airlines, which have been worked a little harder, have a lot more flex. Okay, I have to cut in my uh, my servos first, of course, before I paint. The idea being I'm going to cut in my servos on both wings, and then once those are cut in, run a line or a, a trench for the line. Okay, I'll just through quickly here. run through some of this here for you. Well, you can see I've cut in the uh, servo nice and flush with the wing tip or with the wing surface. Go easy on that. When you, I just used a knife, a hobby knife, to score it along the lines of the uh, outline and peeled off probably about, oh, I'd say, a little less than a centimeter's depth to begin with. Check for fit and snugness. Once you're, once you're happy with the snug, snugness of the fit, then just with the tip of the, or the point of the knife, just scrape out foam until you get to the right depth, constantly checking to make sure you don't go too low, don't want to weaken the wing. Once I'm fini I finished that, I scored a line with the knife point all the way along to the, uh, to the end, uh, or to the inside of the wing. And then just with a, in my case, I'm just using a carpenter's pencil tip something that won't cut the air line and just kind of push that inside the uh, inside of the uh, the score mark and push the, the air on the wiring and that's uh, how you're going to run it into there see the uh, servos I'm using have enough to come to there I have a Y that comes out and then we're, we're in business so the only thing I'm going to suggest that you uh, be cautious of is again when you're when you're working your way into the depth that you want go slowly don't get too close okay. finished cutting out both servos and what I actually did do is I decided to change my approach and I put a little bit of fiberglass cloth along with the poly C in the bottom of the servo just to give it a of the servo pocket just to give it some strength so I've done that on both sides there's just a tiny bit of fiberglass cloth in there just enough to cover uh, the bottom and up the sides and, uh, and you probably can't notice it from here but and then I just put some poly C on it so it should be really good I also took a drill bit and just drilled another hole right in the middle there for where the servos are going to go through. Okay real briefly just thought I'd give you a quick little heads up here uh, this is where we're at we've done the first coat of paint the gray paint on the top of the wings I've actually done both undercoats on the bottom side of the wings. You can see the sky blue. I've masked it off, of course. So what I've got now is an upper wing first coat, bottom wing two coats. I'm going to let this this dry and then I'm going to apply the second coat, of course, and then once that's dry, I'm going to apply the uh, invasion stripes. And then from there we're going to uh, go with uh, the body uh, or the deck the decal kit I'm going to custom make a decal kit from my own decal uh, from my own uh, printer and then once it's all done and dried and applied clear coat it all with the uh, sealant or with a uh, with a nice clear coat so that it stays nice and shiny and uh, it looks nice so that's where we're at